48 First Alert Weather Forecast with meteorologist Jeff Denoyer. All right, Jeff, good thing the race was yesterday, not today, because the road's a little wet. I mean, we got soaked yesterday here in Huntsville. And look, I just got to mention, soaked everywhere, got home, completely skipped over my house. And I was like, come on now, really? Yeah, it was probably our best chance of rain we had in a long time. Well. And, a lot, and hopefully, <laughs> if you missed out like you did yesterday, yeah. hopefully you get another chance today. Here's you, hoping. You get two chances on the Labor Day mm -hmm. weekend. We've taken the rain out for tomorrow. Let's talk about what happened yesterday. Take a look across the area of the rainfall totals, and there were many locations that had over one inch of rain. Some areas had two inches of rain, and there's even a few areas that had three inches of rain. But when you look at this graphic, some of the bigger numbers jump out at you and pop, but there's also some point ones, point fours, and zeros too. And that goes to show you that there were some areas, again, getting some solid rain with others, not so much. Uh, good news is, though, across the area, most locations did get wet, and that's good news for the drought monitor. Let's zoom in. Some of the heaviest rain yesterday fell along Athens and then west on 72. You see this little bullseye of red right here, right? But if you go a little too far west into Rogersville, the number like drops right off and that's a great indication of how localized some of these downpours can be when you have them with thunderstorm activity. And there was a price to pay for some of the heavier rainfall. Picture sent in by Donna. I did not get the town location, but you can see this tree, pretty large tree, knocked down with some winds with thunderstorms. It actually knocked out a fence on their property. I'm glad to say that nobody was hurt with this, but certainly some property damage for Donna and her family as the rains came in with some thunderstorms and some of those winds were quite strong. We have a chance for that to happen again today. Some fog. Yep, we got that this morning left over from some of the rain yesterday and that kept the ground wet. So where we have some fog, it's very humid, very damp. It has that murky kind of feel this morning. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s out the door and that fog will burn off by about eight or nine o'clock. Temperatures right now, 60s and 70s, as I mentioned, but you go north and west, you drop it off about 10 degrees. You go a little bit more north and west and you get into some 40s in North Dakota right now. Yeah, that's some chilly stuff in Bismarck. So layers of of cooler air are all going to be trickling down in the Tennessee Valley all week long. The first wave of cooler air eventually will come with this frontal passage here. Now tomorrow there's some 90 degree temperatures for Labor Day, but then we drop to the 80s and eventually when a second front moves through later in the week, that's going to take the temperatures down even more. We go from 90s to 80s to 70s. Yeah, there's a day in the 10 day forecast that has 77 for a high. So hour by hour forecast. This little green you see right here, that's the forecast model picking up on the fog that's out there, maybe a little drizzle, but no rain this morning. A lot of clouds though throughout the day, any sunshine will be limited. And then by one o'clock, much like yesterday, the difference is, is that the storms went from south to north yesterday. Today, they'll go northwest to southeast with that frontal passage. And all it means for you at home, they move in a different direction, who cares? It's rain, wind, and some dangerous lightning. Please be safe during this afternoon hours. They'll continue through about five, six o'clock. The line will break up a bit as it moves south and east. And by seven, eight o'clock, there's a few leftover showers and thunderstorms, but most of the activity at that point is done. We'll clear out. We'll have a dry Labor Day. Temperatures creep back to 90s. And then we track the potential for not only some rain next week, much needed rainfall, but also the drop in temperatures. There's that 77 on Thursday that could turn out to be quite cloudy and rainy throughout much of the day.